The Dominica Festival of the Arts was officially launched last Friday. The government to address the issue of vagrants in the capital and the Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt says the DLP administration has made a major impact on the education sector. Welcome to this edition of National Focus. I'm Mervyn Matthew. And I'm Kimani Senja. Stay with us. We'll bring you details of the headline stories and others after this. There is a silent, invisible killer in our midst. A killer which largely goes unnoticed as it plies its deadly trade. Its name is secondhand tobacco smoke, which has a far greater impact on persons inhaling this poison than on smokers themselves. Secondhand tobacco smoke is especially detrimental in public places and negatively impacts our national health as well as public health expenditure. Stop this invisible killer now. Say no to secondhand tobacco smoke in public places. A public health message brought to you by the Ministry of Health and the Pan American Health Organization. Thank you for staying with us. The Labour Party administration has been focusing on project implementation during the first 100 days of its new term in office. The Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt discussed how he has approached the start of the new term on Talking Point last Wednesday. We've been placing uh, emphasis on implementation, having um, very focused meetings with the very relevant um, state agencies. Um, all the stakeholders were responsible for a particular project. We, we meet you around the table to discuss where, where, the, where, the, where is the bottleneck and, and what has to be done to address those issues. So we've been spending a lot of time doing that. We've been spending a lot of time on, on advancing, um, looking at um, investment opportunities that you know, have been out in and out of the country, um, fetching... Um, um, investments, um, promoting some of the investments we have, like the Silver Beach development and the range development um, that are so critical to, to our tourism um, um, industry. So we've been focusing heavily on on um, implementation and, and, and ensuring that we streamline um, the processes involved, um, make them simpler um, insofar as project implementation, project management, project execution. The National Cultural Council and the Cultural Division is this year presenting yet another opportunity to celebrate Dominica's vibrant culture with the staging of Domfesta 2015. The 2015 calendar of events, which runs from April 20th to May 31st, was officially launched at the Cultural Division on Friday. This year, we celebrate 32 years of Domfesta. 32 years of exposing Dominicans to cultures of the region and that of the wider world. 32 years of working together with a number of institutions who year after year contribute to the diverse list of offerings for Domfesta, as well as overseas artists who are invited to mark the occasion with us. 32 years of an exciting celebration of visual and the performing arts. The Festival of Arts, conceived in 1983, officially kicked off today with the week-long National Schools Art Festival event. Chief Cultural Officer Acting, Jacinta David, highlighted a few other featured events designed to showcase the talents of Dominican artists and aspects of the nation's culture. Don't miss the American Jazz Quartet in concert at the Arawak House of Culture on April 27th from 6 p.m. Entrance is free. The Girardin Flower Festival will take place from May 1st to May 4th. And Fet Isidore will be celebrated in Grand Bay and San Sauveur on May 25th. The Jazz and Creole Festival is carded for May 24th at the Cabrits National Park. Our Domfesta Art and Craft Exhibition will this year feature the work of Mr. Louis C.S. Desiree. Mr. Desiree worked with the Cultural Division for a number of years at the Wood Carving Studio, and he passed on in December 2014. The exhibition opens at the Old Mill Cultural Center from 7 p.m. on Tuesday, May 5th, and will continue for the entire month of May. Domfesta activities this year will also include the Dame High Scorers concert on Sunday, May 10th at the Fortune Hotel and the end of the year closing ceremony for the Dominica Institute for the Arts to be held at the Arakos of Culture on May 19, 2015. 
Additionally, nationals can support the annual Creole Spelling Bee Competition, Africa Liberation Week, and an event dubbed Drums in the City. We continue to promote and preserve Dominica's Creole languages. So, in collaboration with the Committee Poetit Quayol, Kek, the preliminaries of the annual Quayol Spelling Bee Competition for primary schools will be held on May 6th, and the finals at the Arawak House of Culture on Wednesday, May 14th, at 10 in the morning. A jazz quartet from the United States will be here in Dominica to perform courtesy the United States Embassy in Bridgetown, Barbados. The concert will be held at the Arawak House of Culture. Africa Day celebrations with special support from the government of Dominica will run from Wednesday, May 18th to Sunday, May 31st. We will be celebrating the sounds of the drum at various locations in Roseau on Saturday, May 30th from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. So come and support drums in the city. As part of this year's celebration, nationals can also enjoy the annual Fet Isidore and a weekend long drama production by Teat Powell dubbed The Hidden Treasures of Batibu. The annual Pork Festival scheduled to run from Friday, May 30th to Sunday, June 1st, will bring down the curtain on this year's festivities. Honorable Minister for Culture Justin Charles says the annual Domfesta staging is important to national development. Today's youth have the responsibility to carry the torch in terms of ensuring that our culture survives and is transmitted to future generations. Events such as Domfesta provides an outlet for the artistic talent of our youth and links back to ongoing training programs in the arts. The Ministry of the Youth, Sports, Culture and Constituency Empowerment through the Division of Culture has continued to invest in training programs in the art. We recognize that the art helps to instill discipline and promotes other positive values among our young population. An appeal has been extended to the general public to partake in the events. This year marks the 32nd anniversary of Domfesta activities in Dominica. In other news, the government of Dominica is prepared to address the issue of vagrancy in the city of Roseau. The Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt gave government's stance on that issue on Talking Point last Wednesday. What we have done is, is that we have brought in all of the stakeholders together um, to look at the problem, to see how each of us can work together uh, towards addressing the societal challenge. The proposal came to cabinet for its approval, but the cabinet felt in its wisdom that we needed to bring on board um, the, the missing stakeholder, which, uh, which was the, the, the families of those persons, to at least share with them that which the state is seeking to do to help um, their family members, because I know many of these families are, are, are really going through a very stressful period um, to see their young boys, their sons, their grandsons, and so on the streets, you know, um, you know, in, in, in that state, um, you know, and we have to see how we can help them. So the the, the proposal before us is, is to see how we can help these um, young men and women um, to be rehabilitated, you know, in a, in a voluntary manner, um, not imposing the will of the state on them. Um, but in a voluntary manner, see how we can address this um, societal challenge. But critically, we have to ensure that we help them. We help them rehabilitate. We help them get treatment. Um, because that is part of the problem. The problem is that these men and women, they have, they, they have a problem. And um, we have to try to, to assist them in fixing that problem. And in so doing, um, we will address the complaint of the society in terms of the nuisance um, aspect of having the, 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 the vagrants on the streets of the city of Roseau. You're watching National Focus still to come. The Parrot Conservation Research Center is now able to perform safer procedures requiring anesthesia on its birds. And the Dominica Hotel and Tourism Association has launched its two annual flagship events, which form part of its Tourism Awareness Month calendar of activities. Stay with us. Did you know the Caribbean Court of Justice is two courts in one? The CCJ has two functions, an original jurisdiction, which deals with your right to move between CARICOM countries freely and your right to move your money and your business. 
This is the basis of the CARICOM Single Market and Economy, CSME, and the revised Treaty of Chagaramas, and an appellate jurisdiction to hear appeals from courts of those countries which decide to use it as their final court of appeal and no longer go to the Privy Council. All CARICOM member states who have signed the agreement establishing the CCJ are members of the CCJ. Welcome back. The Dominica Labour Party administration has transformed the island's education sector. Speaking on focus on government and development radio program last week, Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt noted the gains made by the current administration within the sector. We used to train 50 nurses every, every three years, every four years in Dominica. We have revolutionized the tertiary level education system to the point where we have set the platform to be able to accommodate 100% of all high school graduates, providing that they meet the min earn the minimum requirements to enter into the tertiary institution. In today, as we speak, the enrollment level is, uh, is over 87%. So from 7%, to 87%. Because we recognize that you could not build a modern economy. You could not address the serious challenges confronting Dominica if you do not have an educated or skilled population. The Pirate Conservation Research Center is now able to perform safer procedures requiring anesthesia on its birds. With the help of Rare Species Conservatory Foundation, the center has now acquired an anesthesia machine to perform avian treatment and surgery. Dr. Paul Rilo is founder of Rare Species Conservatory Foundation. In avian medicine, one of the things that we really look at is uh, increasing the margin of safety, both for simple procedures such as first aid where there might be a superficial injury, but also for general exams and for anything that might cause the animal stress. And previous to, to, to these sorts of technologies being available, animals had to be anesthetized, as Mr. Richards indicated, by injection. And this is, this is largely guesswork. We didn't know how the patient was going to respond or if they were necessarily going to wake up, which uh, somewhat, somewhat defeats the purpose of, uh, of doing a medical procedure. So anesthesia machines, particularly isoflurane, have a very wide margin of safety and they enable us to perform routine exams as well as more invasive procedures without causing harm, without in inducing any kind of stress or extra trauma on the patient and really ensuring that we have a su successful outcome. The government of Dominica and the Forestry, Wildlife and Parks Division have also sent persons to receive training in Florida to effectively use these machines. Veterinary Services Officer Brian Richards was one of those selected to participate in the two-week training. We really and truly needed a machine like that. And it's not just a machine that can be used for, for the avian species, but it can be used for general. Assistant Forest Officer Stephen Durand says the 18-year collaboration with the Foundation has done well for Dominica's Parrot Conservation Program. Dr. Rilo felt it was important for us to have such a machine on Dominica as well. And if there's an instance or case where we need to work on an animal, you know, put an animal to sleep for a short while while we're doing surgery or whatever. So he went out and purchased a machine and sent it to Dominica. The machine is compact and portable and has been the standard machine used for treatment of birds and reptiles in the United States for the past 20 years. The animals are fully responsive after treatment within two minutes. The machines and its attachments cost $2,000 U.S. The Dominica Hotel and Tourism Association has launched its two annual flagship events, which form part of its Tourism Awareness Month calendar of activities. The two events, Hike Fest 2015 and the rebranded National Tourism Trade Show and the Cocktail, NTTC, will be held next month as part of its efforts to develop and represent the travel and tourism industry within Dominica. This year, the National Tourism Trade Show and Cocktail Vendor Trade Show 
is coupled with a series of educational and informative seminars on tourism-related themes of benefit to the membership, to the tourism enterprises, and the public. Menu planning, alternative energy, digital media marketing, and exterior design, facilitated by resi resident consultants in each field. Executive Vice President Stephanie Astefan says the support from the public has been overwhelming and the rebranded NTTC will feature 13 trade show vendors in six product categories, seven travel partners and six artisan producers. There will also be participation of new partners. For the first time in the event's history, the trade show will see participation of key international travel trade participants like Winair, Princess Juliana International Airport of St. Martin, L'Express des Îles, Hummingbird Air, and Air Antilles, tour operators, travel planners, SXM, and many, many more. These overseas travel partners will be coming to Dominica to meet and collaborate with key government officials and industry participants in attendance, creating a unique networking opportunity and environment for cooperation. The intention is to inspire their confidence and commitment to Dominica as a destination, which in turn will ensure the future success of local tourism enterprises and support services, and by extension, the success of Dominica's tourism industry. Hikefest 2015 will be held every Saturday during the month of May at a fee of $50. Partners and sponsors for the events include Digicel, Domlek, and the Tropical Shipping, among others. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à cette nouvelle en créole. Non moins, c'est Macpherson Saint Louis. Premièrement, machine qui division faut oui 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 pour tous les animaux qui en difficulté, ça qu'a travail bien effectivement. Par Wall Street, la sortie de l'officier Fouy Stephen Duran. Le département là, vous avez vu les machines de la Royal Organisation l'année week, semaine passée. Les machines ça sont des bonnes machines. Ce sont des machines que vous avez vu, au lieu de des injections, vous avez vu des machines qui sont plus safe, plus sécure. Ce sont des machines qui travaillent très bien et qui ont des résultats où vous avez besoin. Et les animaux qui ont sorti de la procédure, vite, deux ou trois minutes après avoir fini les animaux. Je vous remercie de l'hôpital Princess Margaret pour l'assistance de l'hôpital et de l'affaire d'oxygène. Je vous remercie de l'hôpital PMH parce que c'est un aide nous et puis machine ça aussi. Uh, oxygen tank, là, c'est eux qui fait un um, tank ça available nou, pour nous pour nou mettre et puis machine pour travailler et puis. So, et puis, uh. so, yo ban nou tank là, c'est ça yo, mais nous nou que servi et là nous besoin plein. Nous animer les vieux bah, yo qui a plein ban nou, so, nou, nou le, oui, merci, yo, pour um, assistance yo ban nou, et puis um, oxygène là pour pour travailler puis machine ça aussi. Dans la nouvelle, le management solide de Dominique a créé à ces monde qui a organisé le spectacle pour nettoyer l'occasion après le bal la fin. Parole sans la sur de officier de relations publiques, Geno Jacob. Jacob a créé pour le monde généralement, Chen et Vinoa Pop. Pour ça, autant de fois, le monde qui a fait des fêtes, des événements, des événements, des fêtes, go go des festivals, des festivités, en communauté, en ville, et puis, les le café les week-ends des fois les mon fêtes grand fête café et puis et ben nous avons qui après sa joie après si fait les 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 le, le samedi dimanche au matin place ta salle um, si fait um, dimanche au soir lundi au matin on va passer à toi avec quoi c'est place ta salle ne va pas partir aux en place là le roi domine que la solide de scadi qui c'est mon ça c'est holders of events et puis il y a une responsabilité pour nettoyer place là immédiatement 24 heures du temps c'est plus que cabayo pour nettoyer en place là parce que le roi a dit si on ne fait ça il va amener on devant la la loi et puis il va payer payer 15 000 dollars au soir yo yo avocat Um, juge là, au oui. ce juge là, ça m'a yo pour faire un um, service communauté um, parce que ça pour pour, pour punition yo. Public là a avisé pour contacter à uh, management Solid West Dominique pour plus d'informations.
Comme ça, le soleil de ça nous a fait un soleil de baisse. Nous avons des formes, nous avons fait des formes. Là, nous avons chaque village council, ces formes-là. Là, là c'est mon nom qui a décidé de faire des fêtes, des festivités en communauté. Yo. Yo, ça vient et puis plein de ces formes-là. Et puis, 10 solides de baisse, 10 villages comme ça. Comment vous allez ménager les ordres Si vous avez besoin de solides de baisse, vous mettez plus de poubelles là-bas, en, 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 en l'entour, là, vous avez fait une fête là, nous avons fait ça. Si vous voulez solides de baisse, masser les ordres là-bas, yo. après, nous avons nous, 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 nous fait ça. Vous avez fait un petit peu de prix pour faire ça. Pour faire ça. Mais l'important, c'est que nous voulons que vous savez que là, vous avez une fête en communauté yo c'est responsabilité yo pour nettoyer immédiatement immédiatement après yo chaîne fait ça là parce que pas regarder belle pièce vent qui prend ces ordres ça là et qui a voltigé qui a fling les qui a qui a qui a d'autre d'autre côté et puis là on nettoie un côté mais quoi voir ordres ça styrofoam en dans l'autre place et avec regarder l'aide même pas il pas il pas regarder belle pièce comme ça nous voulons une responsabilité ça nous voulons savent que loi a dit qui y a une responsabilité pour nettoyer environnement immédiatement la nouvelle gouvernement d'Omni a poussé du vent et puis plan développement secteur hôtel. Parole ça là, sorti au premier ministre, Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt. Gouvernement d'Omni a bas programme économique citizenship. Plan B avancé pour bâtir un long hôtel tout en pays. Le premier ministre Skerritt a annoncé que construction hôtel qui pour bâtir en Cabritz qui a commencé plus tard l'année salaire. La compagnie Range Development et puis Kapinski Group a bâti facilité salaire. Le gouvernement Dominique a fait parole que Dominique a fait travail pendant que l'hôtel a été bâti et puis l'a été en opération. Le gouvernement Dominique a fait un contrat l'année passée pour l'hôtel a été bâti. Et puis finalement, la compagnie de Wasco a créé à ce public pour apprécier les ressources de nous en pays. La parole a été sur l'officier de la relation publique Edward Regis. Regis a fait parole pour les ressources de l'eau est autant important. C'est important parce que on la terre, il y a pile de monde qui n'est pour marcher pour une grande distance. Puis ils ont trouvé de l'eau. Il y a pile de monde qui n'est pas de l'eau pièce. Il um, y a eu des sangs de l'eau pour combien de jours avec um, un corps. Nous avons dit pour apprécier ça. Parce que um, nous avons nou nou regardé la situation. Hein? Il y a un pays qui a fait l'argent pour Glo. L'argent pour Glo. Avec, euh, avant, nous avons fait des choses pour, pour l'huile, pour l'or, pour différents habitants. Mais Glo est tellement important en la terre à présent. Il y a un pays qui, qui, qui a tapé quoi, un débat pour Glo. Monsieur, madame, ça c'est tout pour nouvelle en créole pour à présent. Non moins, c'est Macpherson saint louis Au revoir. Coming up next, your tip of the day. Wash your hands. I am Adora Toussaint, health educator from the Ministry of Health. Proper hand washing protects against the spread of many common illnesses and germs. Wash your hands often with soap and water, or you may use a hand sanitizer. Remember, clean hands save lives. Protect yourself. A message from the health promotion of the Ministry of Health. Running with music is a great way to get in the groove. Just make sure it's not blasting too loudly or you won't hear those cars. To pick the ultimate iPod playlist, think about what gets you going. So don't feel like you have to download Lady Gaga because her tunes are supposed to pump you up. Go with any music that you find uplifting. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis.dominica.gov.dm or visit our website, 
news.gov.tm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash GIS News Dominica, and follow us on Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News Desk, I'm Kimani Senja. And I'm Mervyn Matthew. Thanks for watching and join us again next time for National Focus.